the perfect blend of art, music, entertainment, food, and drink. I'm talking about Art Fest on Main. Hi, I'm Maureen Russell Hodson, and this is Springboro here and there. We are here at the Community Wall, along with Kim Lushy, who is the chair of this huge event. And Kim, how are you? I'm good, thank you for having me. Well, it's so exciting, hard to believe, sixth year I that know. you all are offering Art Fest on Main. What's new and different this year? So this year we have more artists than we've ever had. Um, we have approximately 100 artists. And then in addition, we have more student artists than we've ever had. Um, we have almost 40 student artists participating this year. So we're very wow. excited <laughs> yeah. about it. The level of art we have is incredible and we have something for everybody. And let's talk about the location because it really starts at the top of South Main and comes all the way down, right? Correct. We close South Main Street through Historic Springboro and we will have vendors, um, artists, children's activities, uh, food trucks, all sorts of things spanning the whole length of the street. And this, people may not know, is an all volunteer organization. It is, so 100%. I, yeah, and it's absolutely incredible because yes. you all work year round mm -hmm. to pull this together. Yes. So let's talk about, um, when you start at the street, we talk, let's talk about entertainment because Ooh, you have three stages, right? I mean, you're going to be we entertained do. everywhere you go. We do. We have three stages spaced out throughout the event. Um, the music is meant to be sort of a background to the event, so nothing's overpowering, but we have some phenomenal musicians. Um, in addition, Heather's Cafe is going to have music throughout the day as well, which is also part of the event. So we're very excited about that. So we've got entertainment. Um, let's talk about the new beverage because this new beer, it's a, it's a local combination, right? It is. So our two local breweries, um, Crooked Handle and Warped Wing, do a collaboration beer for us every year. And this year's is a strawberry lemonade shandy, which is perfect for summertime. I'm ready now. It is amazing. <laughs> yeah. you, I, you will want to try it for sure. So you'll have that and other beers as well? We will. So we will have local craft beers from the two breweries, seltzers. We're also going to have mixed drinks. Um, we're going to have uh, sangria. So yes. Plus, we have non-alcoholic options as well. And just to remind people, this area is a Dora, which means it's yes. a designated outdoor refreshment area. So you can take a drink, you can take a glass of wine, and go ahead and visit the various vendor booths. Absolutely. Sit wherever you'd like to go all the way down South Main. Yes. And um, kids, you're not going to be left out, right? Not Lots at all. Lots of kids' activities. Kids' activities. We have an entire tent of free children's activities. Um, there's different stations, different things they can do. Um, that tent is nonstop all day long. So it's a lot of fun. Bring your, bring your family down. And come for lunch? Yes. We have food trucks. We've got snacks if you just want a snack. We've got lemon shake-ups for the Rotary Club. Um, so there is something, like I said, for everybody, whether it's art, food, entertainment. All the shops will be open, so stop in and shop local as well. Yeah, so it's really a great day to come and spend the day. Absolutely. Again, it is on Saturday. August 24th from 10 to 5. Yes. When we talk about um, it kind of wrapping up, you've got dinner on Main if you wanted to come. Too late, folks, because it's, it's sold, sold out, out right? But tell <laughs> us about that fantastic event as well. So dinner on Main is a great farm-to-table dinner. Um, it is hosted in the middle of South Main Street. It sort of is the end cap for the event. Yeah. And it's a fundraiser. We always donate to a local nonprofit. We have given over $22,000 over the years to local nonprofits. Thank you so much for that. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So this year, the money is going to be going towards a beautiful mural um, sponsored by the Springboro Arts Council for the gateway to historic Springboro. So we're very excited about it's that. It's so exciting. Yes. It's really going to add a new mark a new iconic area to stop by and see when you're in historic springboro absolutely and if you did not get tickets this year you missed out because busy bee is our chef and her food is amazing and she's using all local produce and meat so it's going to be amazing and so that's at the end of the event but of course you have all day to come and enjoy all the exciting things that are happening yes wouldn't happen without the volunteers you mentioned the arts um, council, tell us who that is because that's an all volunteer organization. It's separate from the city. I mean, this is yes. volunteers putting this on. So, the Springboro Arts Council is a nonprofit. Um, right now, Art Fest is our largest event that the Arts Council puts on, but we have um, expectation for growth for that. So, we are ex expecting to bring in more art to the community, and we're very excited about that. But the entire event is run on volunteers. Our committee are volunteers, everybody you see during the day are volunteers. We do still have volunteer opportunities, so if you're interested, there's an Eventbrite sign up on our website or our Facebook page. Um, and it's a fun day to volunteer. There are like two hour shifts, you get beer tickets if you're over 21, you get a free t-shirt. 
So that's very exciting as well. And you get to immerse yourself with all these artists and just, yeah. let's just say it, it's a cool vibe when you come down here for it this. Is, it really it is. is. The artist feedback we get every year is that our volunteers were some of the best they've experienced at any event. So it's really fun to be part of that. Kim, why are you a part of this? Because it's not like you don't have a very busy <laughs> business, but you really make sure all this stuff happens. Well, it's not just me. Yeah. It's a whole committee. Um, but I love the idea of bringing art and bringing something new to the community and something that brings families out. So it is a family friendly event. It's pet friendly if you have well behaved That's pets. Right, yeah. Um, and it's just a day that people can experience something that we don't normally get in this area. So I, that's why I like being a part of it. And there's a variety of art. Explain the types of arts that we'll see because it's a juried show. Right? It is a juried show. So every artist had to be juried by other artists um, to be elected. So we have everything from jewelry, paintings, photography, woodworking, textiles, leatherwork. So truly, almost anything you can imagine, we are going to have people here. Also, all price points. Yeah. So, I mean, art point. starting yeah. at $10 all the way up to several thousand dollars. So we really encourage you, like, look around your house. Where might you need art? Or do you need a gift for somebody? Or do you just want some new jewelry? Or does your office need art? Um, realtors, a lot of times, will buy things as closing gifts for their clients. Yeah. There's so many possibilities. And really, we, you will find something that you love. It's also a good opportunity to connect with artists because yes. you can maybe see something that they like, commission that artist yes. for some work. So it's a great way to make connections and also just feel a great part of the community because it's yes. just a very fun family event, as you said. Yes. Um, one final thing, sponsors. I know that you have a lot and it really, they kind of make do. it go behind the scenes, right? They do. We have so many sponsors and I'm probably not going to be able to name them all, <laughs> but I will tell you our tent sponsors this year, which are our major sponsors. Yeah. Um, Carrie uh, Robbins of Berkshire Hathaway is our Dinner on Main sponsor. Buckingham Advisors is our beer and cocktail sponsor. Springboro Veterinary Hospital are our student artist sponsors. And Watkins Heating and Cooling is our children's tent sponsor. And all of these are returning sponsors. So, you know, their generosity really makes this work. And we have a full list of sponsors on our website. Please go look at it because there's so many more. And a lot of them are local businesses that have really helped us. It's really become a community event. This idea yeah. has grown and now it's a, it's a must go to event. Yes. It's on August 24th. Again, it's right here in historic Springboro. Best place to go for information? Um, Artfestonmain.com is going to be our website. We also have a Facebook page, which is constantly being updated. So just Artfest on Main on Facebook. Those are going to be your best two sources. All right, Kim, thank you for being such a great source and a thank great you. resource for downtown. Your love for downtown is so obvious. When we, uh, when could we start looking for this new mural to come up? Is it so in planning? After the event, we are going to be taking um, submissions from mural artists, okay. get proposals. And our goal is for the painting to start next spring. Ooh, so boy. We'll, we'll be going through the submissions. Um, everybody involved has to have final say on that. The city, the building owner, and then the um, Arts Council. And then we'll get started. And then we'll get started. And yes. something new and exciting happening. Absolutely. Well, thanks for all the information. Again, you can go to Art Fest on Main. Check out the Facebook page. Yes. You can always check out our Facebook page and also our website, ci.springboro.oh.us. We will see you right here for Art Fest on Main.